Hi, and welcome to Gino's Picks. I know one and two last week. We're 46 and 39 on the year, just about 53%. But you know we're going to finish strong, so you can't wait to get to these two picks, all right? AFC Championship. The Patriots are giving a field goal to the Broncos in Denver. Wow. I hate to tell you this, but I really don't mind that much when one of my picks loses because the basis of Geno's picks has always been the joke makes the pick based on the analysis. And given that formula, we're amazingly near 60% against the spread over the past eight seasons. So one loss doesn't bother me unless that loss is in a game where we broke it down perfectly and the joke picked the game right until one stupid mistake that no one can see coming, but yet it inevitably happens half the time, which is why Vegas is filled with those huge buildings. Now look, you can put your money on Denver here because you think Peyton Manning in what's probably his final season is some unstoppable force on a mission. But the bottom line is he's done nothing in the past two games to earn his job or hold on to it. He was given the starting job back in week 17 after a staggering four or five turnovers in the first half by Brock Osweiler were not his fault against the terrible Charger team. And then he was on the sideline again this Sunday as a fumble he had nothing to do with suddenly put his team back in the game and swung them the momentum. The only difference was this time the fumble was by an opponent, Fitzgerald Toussaint, who put the ball on the ground at the end of a play that anyone who knows it was on Pittsburgh would not have only probably given them the win, but barring a miracle would have given us the cover. Instead, it leads to, you ready for this? The only touchdown drive Manning led them on the entire game because they won that game not on his arm, but on the leg of Brandon McManus and his five field goals. And I'll tell you something else you may not realize. Peyton Manning has not thrown a touchdown pass since November because the only organization that capitalizes more off mistakes than Denver is Planned Parenthood. And much like the abortion of an offense they're hiding, you can only get out of trouble with five good kicks every so often. Meanwhile, Tom Brady is a beast, and he has Julian Edelman back, who now has 36 catches in his last four postseason games and a TD pass to boot. Not to mention the Pats are 10-0 this season with him in the lineup. And if you love Denver's defense, that's fine, but realize one thing. They're getting frustrated with them, okay, with Peyton Manning and how little he's doing. And they only came back to life the past two weeks or games after those huge turnovers by San Diego and Pitt. Because they're not only running out of steam, but they're running out of patience. Because the only thing that can tire a great defense out more than playing against a great offense like the Patriots is playing on a team with a terrible offense like their own. I'm taking the pats and laying the tray.